Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Let's do a color and chat. Yeah, I haven't done one of these in a few weeks. Uh, I am recording from my new digs <laughs> here at the new house. Um, yeah, it's fettled in a little bit. Um, but then I look around at my room and I see a bunch of boxes yet. I have not started to unpack my books, but uh, got a lot of the coloring supplies away. Not organized yet, but at least where they belong. So thought I would at least get a few videos recorded, kind of in between going and putting stuff away and all that good stuff. So, all right. I recently did uh, flip throughs of three of Jade Summer's latest books that they so kindly sent to me. So I thought we would do a color and chat out of the Color by Number Mandalas book. And I'm just going to color the very first one. And I'm going to color with my Copics. Um, of course, you know me. I have my colors already figured out for the 30 color color palette. <laughs> Didn't expect anything less, did you? Okay, let us start and we'll get jabbering about everything going on. Which, yeah, as you can imagine, has been quite a bit. <laughs> Not sure if everybody wants to hear all about it, but you're gonna anyhow. Alrighty, let's see if there's a one. Well, no, there won't be ones because one is white. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's go to number two. Light yellow. Light yellow, I have Y13. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I haven't done this in so long. It's like I forgot how to record. It took me a long time yesterday to get up, set up my lighting correctly. Oh, I was having such a hard time because I now actually have an overhead light. <laughs> when I was at the old house, I don't know, in the late 60s, early 70s, they must not have believed in overhead lights and everybody used lamps that were turned on and off by light switches because all of the, and I can never remember if it was the upper outlet or lower outlet, were all controlled by the light switch. So, yeah, you always, I mean, the living room didn't have overhead lighting. The bedrooms, the family room where I recorded, nothing had overhead lights. The only thing that did was bathrooms and kitchen. And that's about it. So, yeah, it's, uh, now this house is quite a bit older than my last house and... This one has overhead lighting. Imagine that. Uh, yes, I am still talking funny. If you are new to my channel, I had to have all my teeth pulled. And that was a couple of weeks now, but I am still having... A lot of problems with my dentures. I do have my upper plate in though. That's getting a little bit better, but the lower one is oh impossible. Um, I'm kind of surprised because in the upper left I still have that darn bone spur that won't work its way out. And it's extremely painful when I first put the upper plate in but then it kind of simmers down so I thought I would at least put that one in <laughs> to talk not that it maybe helps a whole lot but but yeah that bottom one forget 
it is for some reason just way too painful especially on the lower right I don't know what happened over there but mm, it is still quite swollen and I even have a really nasty bruise up underneath my jawline that still has not gone away so yeah Lisa's still eating really soft foods soup a lot of Chef Boyardee good thing I like Chef Boyardee <laughs> oh my goodness yeah it's amazing what a person can find to eat though when you have to oatmeal ice cream and I never used to be an ice cream lover but ooh, right now it's it's a nice treat <laughs> and I had supper and now my tummy is just a gurgling away so I hope you can't hear that <laughs> I think it's a very happy tummy <laughs> I think it's happy sounds that it's making because I thought Bob is also having problems again. Again, if you're new to my channel, a couple years ago, Bob was diagnosed with esophageal cancer and ended up having to have surgery after he went through chemo and radiation and everything and had to have his esophagus removed. Part of his stomach pulled up to make like a new esophagus for him and he's had so many problems with that closing up on him so he can't eat and he has had to go back in to have these stents put back in oh gosh I don't know how many times and now he is unable to eat again well, not eat much anyhow. Kind of like me. <laughs> we're we're a real good couple here. Um, but I had a brilliant idea for supper tonight. I thought, hmm. I said, do you think you can eat an omelet? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I said, how about if we order some omelets? <laughs> so rather than the ham, because I knew... I wouldn't be able to get down any ham pieces. I can only eat stuff that I mush, can mush up against the roof of my mouth right now. So we had sausage and cheese omelets. Oh my gosh, that was like heaven on earth. It tasted so good. It was the tastiest thing I've had in weeks. I have missed so many things. When we moved, I bought everybody, I brought back some McDonald's for everybody. Burgers and fish sandwich or chicken sandwich, whatever they wanted, and then a whole bunch of fries. Well, I love McDonald's French fries. Yeah, couldn't eat them. Tried one. Took a what I thought was a soft one. No, nope. no, nope, didn't work. It's like that one's in French fries. <laughs> it's the small, small things in life, you know. Don't realize until you can't have them. But I go back next Friday for a recheck, and then they kind of realign them and. I always thought it was uh, comfort liners, but that's not what they're called. Can't think what they're called, but they, in a sense, try to make your dentures more comfortable. And then I'm going to ask them about those problem areas. Because, yeah, haven't been able to wear that bottom plate at all. But anyhow... How did I get off on that? I was going to talk about the move. <laughs> oh, probably because I'm talking funny. Okay, so, yes, we are in 
the new house. Moving was a nightmare, as all of you probably know, because like I've said in the past, I think everybody has moved at some point in their life. Um, but yeah, when we moved, we had to pick up stuff with the U-Haul from four different places. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I rented us the largest U-Haul truck they have, which I think it was like a 26 footer. And we filled that baby up two times. Plus, there were a number of people with trucks and there were, uh, there was a trailer. Everything was full. <laughs> oh, I can't believe how much junk a person can collect. Not junk, stuff. We collect stuff. Well, yeah, my stuff alone for in this room. Oh my gosh, I can't begin to imagine. Let's see, how many coloring book boxes do I have over there yet? Uh, probably a good dozen. And that's just the books. So yeah, I probably had a good 25 boxes just myself for this room. <laughs> yeah, yes I did. Uh, what number's next? I think six. Six is light orange. And Y17 is what I'm using. So, yeah, we probably had oh, over a hundred boxes out there. <sighs> oh my gosh. But guess what? In one week, because we moved one week ago today. We have pretty much all boxes gone out of the garage. I have one box out there yet. Nope, oh, I missed a two. Let me grab that back out right away. Oh, my chair is squeaking. And yeah, got a couple boxes in the house. And of course, you know, you always leave boxes for last when you don't know what to do with the stuff inside of them. That's been a, my biggest challenge is finding room for everything because you know we did downsize so uh, yeah it's time to toss it's time to donate <laughs> Yeah, time to get rid of some stuff. Plus, I just don't have the room like, you know, my bathrooms are smaller. My kitchen, well, my kitchen actually isn't too bad, but I'm so used to having my huge pantry that I would put all my small, you know, electrical appliances in and just store all my cleaning supplies and you know I oh, had nowhere to go with any of that and I'm just oh I was so overwhelmed I was just in tears talking to Bob you know and stuff I was just crying I'm like I don't know where to go with everything and then a light bulb went on <laughs> that I have a ton of built-in cabinet drawers in the half bath upstairs. Guess where a lot of them cleaning supplies went? <laughs> yep, upstairs. I only kept stuff downstairs that I use on a real regular basis. Bathroom cleaners and, you know, things like that. The rest all went upstairs, and I felt so much better. 
because I have a ton of storage upstairs. There is, there are two bedrooms, and then there's a bathroom in between. So there's a bedroom down here, there's a bedroom down here, and then there's a half bath in the middle, and then the steps going down right there. And those bedrooms, let me tell you, they have built-in, like a, a built-in dresser because there are a ton of drawers built into the wall. So the stuff that doesn't fit into my upright dresser, because I sold my, my long dresser with the mirror on top, got rid of that. <laughs> Thank heavens, because I went to have room for it. And I didn't really need it. And boy, now I really didn't need it with all them drawers in there. So all my big bulky winter stuff is all in those drawers. So, and then in addition to that, there's two, I call them cubby doors. They're the shorter, smaller doors that you see a lot of times upstairs in older homes because I kind of have on the edges of the ceiling it's kind of it goes down again you see that in the upstairs of older homes but there's you know little doors on each side of my bedroom and then that is a whole huge little storage room <laughs> on each side so yeah I can put a ton of stuff in there and then the other bedroom has a whole bunch of built-in shelving and there's like a desk you can sit on sit on yeah sit at and uh, there are two bedrooms downstairs so there's a total of four bedrooms and because Lisa's priority was her, what I call it, my office now, but it's my coloring room, my recording room. Um, my priority was to have this downstairs. So my bedroom is upstairs. Bob has the bedroom down here. And then my office is downstairs. And I love it. Love it, love it. Don't particularly love the fact of having to go up the steps to my bedroom, but I come in here much more than I go up to my bedroom. So it was a easy choice. <laughs> and then the other bedroom upstairs was going to be the spare bedroom for the grandkids when, like, Jaden would stay overnight or, you know, one of the other kids, usually it would be Jaden, and then have the Xbox in there. Well, as I'm talking to my daughter, Heather, who loves to organize stuff, that girl should be a home interiors decorator. Um, and she just, yeah, she's good at it, loves to do it. Um, because I had nowhere to go with my my uh, drafting table for my diamond painting, she came up with a suggestion because down in the basement, right off to the right of the steps, is a semi-finished off area. And she said, why? Okay. Why don't you just make that the Xbox area? <laughs> and then the other bedroom upstairs could be your diamond painting room. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, what a concept. I'm like, oh, I like that idea. So guess what? <laughs> Lisa has a whole upper floor. <laughs> one side's my bedroom then my bathroom and then my diamond painting room and then I have Levi's crib up there 
and uh, yeah, in one corner. Of course, I don't have that room organized whatsoever yet. It's a total disaster, except for Levi's crib over in the corner. <laughs> okay, number nine, I think, is next, which is orange red. R05. So, yeah, there's still a lot of work to do. But, yeah, so now I have my coloring recording area down here. Diamond painting room upstairs. Boy, am I spoiled or what? Oh, I'm just ecstatic. There's only one huge drawback to the upstairs. We did not know this when we bought the house. And it was not disclosed to us when we bought the house. But it's something that actually wouldn't have to be. So, you know, it's not like they hid it or anything. The only heat upstairs is in the hallway that goes into the bathroom. That's the only heating vents upstairs. Yeah. There are there is no heat in either bedroom. None. So it is starting to get really cold here in Wisconsin. We've been way below normal. We've actually had freeze warnings because it's gotten below 32 at night. And I always keep my bedroom door shut now because I don't want the cats in my bedroom. I used to always let the cats in my bedroom. But I kind of got sick and tired of all the hair on my bed. Because when I'd cuddle up with my blankies and stuff, I'd get kitty hair in my mouth. <laughs> or tickling my face. And it kind of drove me nuts. And before Bob got sick and had to have his own special bed that tilted up because he can't lay flat anymore, kind of drove him nuts too. <laughs> so, yeah, unfortunately, kitties are n no longer allowed in my bedroom. So I kept the bedroom door closed. Well... It gets very cold in there with the door closed. So for now, I've been leaving it open. Kitties have been loving it because they've been going up snuggling on my bed. And then don't understand why Mama closes the door at night. And it's not too bad with having the door open, you know, by the time I go to bed. It's still relatively warm in there. Not super warm. I mean, I hop under the covers in a hurry. <laughs> now look at this. There's a nine up here, and I know it's going to be number nine, but there's a little bitty six here. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to be there. Um... So, yeah, and then by morning, by the time I get up, because that door was shut all night, ooh, it's a mite chili. <laughs> so, we're going to get a couple space heaters. And I've been reading up on the oil-filled space heaters. And Heather was the one that told me about them, because her fiancé, whoops, went out of line soon. Um, he has one for out in the his garage and they're extremely energy efficient and when I first heard that I'm like and Bob said the same thing you mean you got to keep filling them with oil or what you know that wouldn't be too uh, handy no you don't it is oil that doesn't burn off it's a, a sealed container you never have to replace the oil um so i've been looking into that researching i found one that i want and ordered 
one because I couldn't afford three of them all at once. Missed a num another number two. So I thought, well, instead of waiting till I could afford all three, because it's really getting cold in my bedroom, I would just order the one and then see if we, you know, if I really liked it or not. Okay, there's that one. I feel like I'm missing something. There's that one. Yeah. I am. I am missing it. So, yeah, I ordered the one. It's not going to be here till next Friday. So, I have about another week to freeze to death. Okay, that's a little over dramatic, but to be a little chilly. Thank heavens next week we're supposed to warm up a little bit. Because we have been like 10 degrees below normal. So it's like we deserve a little bit of a warm, uh, warming trend, shall we say. And that should last throughout next week. So, timing couldn't have been more perfect. All right, number 10. And number 10 is pink. So, pink, I'm using RV02. I do plan on getting a new chair here, though. Um, and it's one that has lumbar support, and it's actually a, a gaming chair. And they are... A little pricey, so I've been kind of saving up for one for a while, and I knew I couldn't get it till we moved in here because I do not want my cats on it, digging their claws into it. <laughs> so I had to wait till I got my office where I could shut my door and they can't get in here and climb all over it. Misty was a good one for that. She would hop up on the back of this chair and hang on for dear life with her claws and, yeah, would proceed to, you know, make claw marks all over my chair. Not good. Oh, we have some tens here. So, yeah, I am hoping... Because there's just been so many other things to order for the house right now that new chair is the least of my worries. Want to get the TV up on the wall because I have such a teeny living room now. Oh, I'm so spoiled with my big living room. So, yeah. My furniture, which granted, my fur I do have big furniture. Two big rocker recliners and a sofa, a matching sofa that reclines on both ends. And so, yeah, and a coffee table, my TV stand, which, like I said, I want to get up off the floor. It's wasting precious real estate in that living room. Then I could maybe get some of the kids' toys in there or something. Because right now I don't have a whole lot in there. I had that whole family room where I recorded for all of their... The, I have a triple stack toy box. And I had a lot of their toys in there. Well, can't do that anymore. So, right now, all of that is still out in the garage. We'll see. I They don't need all of that in here because I have to go through them toy boxes. Half of it is probably needing to be thrown out because it's either broke or pieces are missing or you know how that goes, right? So, yeah. Probably only need one toy box in there.
plus some of the bigger stuff that they have in the living room right now. Maddie has, you know, some things. A lot of it's for Levi. None of it's for Jaden besides the iPads. So, yeah, we are eventually, well, we are slow but sure getting settled. Like I said, I think we did fantastic in one week. Today I got my new kitchen curtains up and I love them because it's kind of a dark kitchen. It does have two windows, but then that's on one side of the kitchen and there's no windows on the other side. So not a lot of light comes in and the curtains that she had on because my window directly faces the next door neighbor, which is <laughs> right behind me. I have no backyard whatsoever. Their driveway is my backyard, <laughs> which I really, really hate. I have a yard on the side. I'm on a corner lot, so I have a, well, relatively small yard on the side. It's all fenced in now. They left a swing set, a play area or a playground thing. It's got like a, resembles like a rock wall that you climb up and then the, and then the slide with a sandbox underneath. And then there are two swings and I want to Get a baby swing so I can push Levi next summer in there. And Maddie is just in seventh heaven. Even though it was cold out the first day she was here on, on uh, Tuesday, she had to go out and check out what she calls the playground. <laughs> and yeah, she loved it. She was so happy which is awesome. I want to paint the fence next summer because this just looks like weathered wood right now. I don't think it was ever painted. So we're going to spray paint. We're going to buy a sprayer. Bob said you can get them relatively cheap. Going to spray paint it all white and make it look nice. Unfortunately, the fence, because I live on a hill yet, darn marathon, <laughs> uh, the fence, when they put in each piece, of course, is flat on the bottom. So one end, you know, is even with the ground, but then as it goes straight across, the ground goes down. So there's open spaces. So the way it is now, I still can't let Bella out and just let her run because she'll go through. <laughs> right away, she'll go through that because she'll notice it right away. So I'm trying to find something that I could attach down at the bottom that I could also spray paint white that wouldn't look a sight like chicken wire or something but yet that we could attach secure enough and not have any sharp edges so the kids don't get hurt so if anybody has any ideas please leave them in the comments below I apologize for the squeaking it's the arms of this chair that is hitting my desk nice thing about that chair that I want to the arms are adjustable that was one thing I really wanted in my new chair you can push the arms down so that they'll go underneath the desk so then you can scoot yourself in further and I thought oh that would be perfect for when I record I can scoot myself up and I won't have to bend over so much because when I record on Saturdays, I 
record a whole bunch at once because I can't record during the week. And yeah, my back starts getting tired. So I thought, oh, that might help. So yeah, I can't wait until I can order that chair and try her out. So yeah, I have the closet in this room that I'm going to have Bob take the door off of because I don't want to have to open the door each time I want. I have all of my markers and pencils and everything because there was a shelving unit that we used at Tanya's to put stuff on where I had to temporarily move. And so we had that there. Well, Bob put it back together and put it in that closet. So yeah, I have all kinds of shelves now to put my markers and pencils and well, the miscellaneous things kind of went in my cabinet back behind me that I had before. So yeah, and guess what folks, it's getting full. That's terrible, ain't it? Oh my gosh. Like I said, I am so spoiled. But yeah, I gotta get at unpacking these coloring books. I am hoping I have one box mixed in there that just says Lisa's desk or something. Because I am missing some things. Up in one of my overhead bins, I had a whole bunch of notebooks, legal size pads, and then some smaller pads. And um, I had a, a really pretty, colorful clock that I had ordered last year. I had that on the wall that I want Bob to put back on the wall over here. Can't find that either. So yeah, I'm really hoping it's in a box over here that I will find once I start getting at all the books. That's not going to happen this weekend yet, though. Hopefully next weekend, because I try to work on things. I got most of this office in order while Levi napped, because there are just so many other things to do. Got a new table because, again, I have no dining room. And once we got the new fridge in and my kitchen cabinet had to go on that wall, too, didn't leave a whole lot of room. So I thought, let's get a drop leaf table. And it would fit there. And if I need it a little bit bigger... I can put that side up. So, measured the space after we moved in. Looked up a bunch of tables. Found this really pretty, I wanted a pedestal table so that in that small area you wouldn't have the legs sticking down that. I invariably would uh, stumble over and stub my toe on. Um, so yeah, found one I liked. Bob put it together the other day and it fits. They're just perfect. Oh, I was so happy. But the chairs didn't come. So I, oh my gosh, I am so sorry for the squeaking. My gosh, it's driving me crazy. So it's got to be driving you crazy. I'll back out from the desk a little bit. Number 12 is dark red. R39. And uh, so I'm like, huh? Finally get the table and chairs. Ooh, I missed. I missed some nines. Yeah, I invariably miss some. Just like diamond painting. Yep. 
I miss even more on diamond paint. So yeah, I contacted the seller because I bought it off Amazon. Of course. Everything's on Amazon. Okay, not everything, but darn near. And I said, okay, just received my table. Where are my chairs? And guess what showed up today? <laughs> so if they get back to me, I'll be like, oh, never mind, never mind. I don't know why they weren't delivered together. Because the table came in one box, the pedestal base came in another box, and I got both of those. So Bob's got another thing to put together. He's been constantly putting things together for me. <laughs> Poor guy. Honey, can you do this? Honey, can you do that? His honey-do list just, just never ends. Okay, what was I doing? 12. So, yeah, that came today. So, yeah, finally we'll have some chairs just been using some folding chairs right now and then what a dilemma with my appliances my neither one was scheduled to come in until after we moved in well lo and behold the fridge came in before we even moved in and Nick the owner of the house at that time that we were buying it from so nicely I mean, he was just awesome him and his wife I should say um, let us move the fridge in the garage they already were out of the house so the house was empty and so yeah he let it let us do have it delivered here and then, yeah, we could put it in the garage so that when we moved in, we could get the fridge in the house. Well, the stove was actually supposed to be delivered before the fridge. Yeah, we have the fridge here, and it's all installed. Bob put in the water line and everything. So we actually have ice, too. <laughs> but the stove hasn't shown up yet. The freight carrier, because it comes in a big semi, uh, yeah, I was notified that, okay, your stove's going to be delivered tomorrow afternoon between 2 and 5. I'm like, oh, yay, yay, yay. Uh, yeah, they showed up. And he starts bringing this container it was of two boxes that he was bringing over and I'm like what in the world you would think a stove would only come in one box but I'm like well oh no yeah he brings it over across the street by me then and I seen it said on the box washer and dryer and I'm like oh uh, that's not mine <laughs> And he's like, it's not? And I said, no. He's kind of funny. He goes, are you sure? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. I'm supposed to get a stove. So something got mixed up somewhere. And they were going to do checking on their end. I was going to do checking on my end. They finally, that was shortly after we moved in. And they finally got a hold of me yesterday and said, they located my stove. So it is coming Monday. Because I have to have a gas stove. There's an electric one here. And I have been using it. But <laughs> I don't like it. You know, you get used to a gas stove where you turn on the knob, you have instant heat, you turn it off, the heat is gone. <laughs> you just kind of get used to that. So, yeah, I don't really care for the electric. But again, it's all what you get used to, you know, kind of what you grew up with that you get used to, and that's what you prefer. So, you know, some prefer electric, some like the gas. 
So then we were going to have a guy come over and install the gas line for us because that's something, you know, we wouldn't want to mess with on our own. And so we had a guy scheduled to come because we, you know, of course, didn't need the stove here for him to do that. And Bob, I don't even know what made him think of this. He pulled out the stove. Here, there was a gas line already there. Yay! <laughs> One thing went right. And, uh, yeah, so didn't have to have anybody come and bring up the gas line from downstairs. Saved a few bucks. So that was nice. That was a nice surprise. So yeah, getting my stove on Monday. I'm so excited. I, yeah, got my kitchen curtains. I still have to order something for my bedroom. Right now I have a blanket <laughs> across my windows. So, you know, nobody can peek in. Um, but yeah, I want to get some nice curtains up there and then I have to get something in the diamond painting room because it's kind of bright for when Levi takes a nap. Is it only 21s and 23s left? Yeah. 21 is a light purple. So BB 13. And what is 23? Dark purple. Okay. So, yeah, I got to get some curtains for my bedroom. I do have something ordered for the diamond painting room. Now, there is like brownish carpeting running throughout this house. <laughs> The upstairs carpeting is a little bit different than the living room downstairs, but pretty similar. But I didn't want to go with brown in my diamond painting room. I wanted something colorful. So even though it won't go with the carpeting, <laughs> Lisa ordered really pretty. Ooh, and I'm going to be dripping. And I don't have any Kleenexes in here. Let me grab this. Scribble on this piece. Copics will do that every once in a while. Just out of the blue for no reason at all. Um, I ordered some really pretty lavender shades or a lavender shade. Yeah, it was kind of expensive, but then I ordered this really pretty, um, I don't know if you call it a topper, it's kind of like a scarf that swags down and then hangs, because it's a, it's kind of an odd size window, and it's the only window in that room, and this lavender colored blind is going to look just beautiful with it so yeah getting something pretty in that room oh my gosh still doing it i don't remember refilling this one recently either gotta remember to have some paper towels in here now look what it did naughty copic naughty naughty ruined my picture. Oh, well, don't do it again. Um, so yeah, I want to paint the walls up there because they're like an ugly yellow. And then remember I said that it's got all those built-in or drawers and like the desk in that room. Yeah, there's it's white, but then all the trim and stuff on it is, it's a, like a yellowish green. I mean, it's kind of gross. 
So I want to paint that a shade of purple, something that coordinates with the with the blinds and that topper. Isn't that sound pretty? So yes, it should be really pretty when I get it done. But again, that's low on the priority list. I am, however, painting the living room ASAP. So that we can get the TV up on the wall because I told Bob doesn't pay to put that mount up on the wall until I have painted. So I went to Home Depot today, got some paint, you know, the strips, the pa pieces of paper where you can get different colors. And then Heather's going to help me pick out a color for the living room. Because the carpeting and my furniture almost exactly match. They're very, very close, which is so ironic. Um, and it's kind of dark. Not real dark, but it's on the darker side. So I want the walls nice and light to open up that living room a little bit. Seeing as how it's so small. So, she's going to help me pick that out next week and then I really would like to paint next weekend so then we can yeah get that tv up on the wall that should be a lot of fun because then I have a sound bar and a subwoofer so I bought the sound bar mount too it mounts directly to the tv mount so when you pull the, you, you know, you can pull the TV mount, you can pull it away from the wall and tilt it, I mean, turn it, or you can tilt it down or whatever. Well, by having the sound bar mounted on the TV mount, if you turn the TV, the sound bar turns with it, rather than having it right on the wall where it stays stationary. So I thought, oh, that sounds nice. And then I got a shelf to, well, uh, it came in a set of two. And we're going to put one on each side of the TV because I need somewhere to put the subwoofer and the cable uh, receiver. So, yeah, boy, that'll be nice when that's all done. You know, just the mere fact of, okay, we got to move this up here. Okay, this nightstand's down here. That's not going to work down here. Okay, let's move it upstairs to my bedroom. <laughs> okay, yeah, that ain't going to work there. Let's move the, I have a grandmother, well, actually, Bob got it, a grandmother clock. Yeah, doesn't really fit in the living room, so I cleaned out the by the front door because I had a bench there and I said well the bench could go in the breezeway there's a nice long breezeway coming in next to where the garage is so we're going to move that bench that you can sit on to put like boots on or whatever Move that out in the breezeway, and then we can move the clock. And, oh, yeah. One thing kind of leads to another, to another, to another. Okay, we need to move this upstairs. Oh, no, this has to go in the basement. Um, <laughs> I think Bob is like, <sighs> Make up your mind, woman. I've had enough moving. And then, you know, he's my fixer putter together -er. So now, yeah, he still has the chairs to put together for the kitchen table. I think he's kind of, I think he's kind of done for today. <laughs> we have just been working so hard all week. And, you know, like I said, getting through all them boxes out in the grass. We can almost, almost park one of the cars in the garage. Can you believe that? <laughs> in one week. Yeah, I think that's pretty darn good. And wouldn't 
won't be too much longer and we'll have it cleared out enough where both cars can park in the garage. Because sure would be nice to do that before the snow flies. And once there's one spot open, I want Bob to take that spot because he's the one who has to leave every day. And if it's raining or, God forbid, snowing, you know, he doesn't have to go out in the rain or anything, so. Okay, last but not least, we're actually going to finish this picture. <laughs> Dark purple. And BVO8. Right, right, is that right? BVO8, yes. Okay. Um, um, where was I? Lost my train of thought. That's been happening a lot. You know what else has been happening a lot? Losing stuff. Bob and I are constantly saying, where did that go? I know I just seen it somewhere. <laughs> I just had that. Where did I see that? Bob would lose one of his tools. I just had that level. Where did that level go? Did not find it. It was a nice short level to level some, level some shelves. And so he had to bring in his long four foot level. But he used it to level the, the refrigerator anyhow. And then the washer and dryer downstairs. Number 12, Mr. Dark Red. This is really colorful, ain't it? So yeah, got the washer and dryer going downstairs. I still cannot figure out though why when he leveled out the washer. The washer and dryer are six feet apart. I'm like, why would you make them six feet apart? And uh, I says, can't that be moved closer? Well, it's kind of a pain to level. And I'm like, yeah, but <laughs> now you got to get clothes out, carry it over to the dryer, or we'll have to put it in a laundry basket and take it over to the dryer. I mean, I know it's not that big of a deal, but it would just be much simpler if you just take it from the dryer and or from the washer toss it in the dryer <laughs> so yeah I I don't know plus I had bought some bumpers that go under the legs on the washer because I have front load washer and dryer and it prevents um, a lot of the shake when the washer spins and they're sticky on the bottom so it's got them stuck to the floor so they can't be reused but I bought an extra set so there is an extra set but yeah I doubt they're gonna get moved so Lisa's got to get a laundry basket down there and I just have to make do gosh golly the tragedies in life like there's not more in Important things to worry about. You know, I never asked you guys how everybody else was doing. I hope everybody has been staying safe. Nobody in your immediate family is ill. Wisconsin, oh, our cases of coronavirus has gone up so much it's unbelievable we've been getting like close to 3,000 cases a day that is just oh it has just spiked for us here and some of it I'm sure is due to the kids back in school the college kids back in school you know, the state opening a lot, but that was a while back. So, you know, it can't be all that. 
And so just with the timing, I think some of it is with the kids back in school and trying to do the contact tracing, you know, gets, you know, a little difficult, especially now where these hospitals and the health department are so busy, it's taking them a while to complete the contact tracing. And, you know, everybody knows you're also infectious for quite a while before you even show symptoms. So, yeah, you know, that's what makes this virus so bad and so contagious. And yet so many people just think masks are stupid and... You know, they're not necessary that this is no worse than the typical flu. And unfortunately, my oldest two daughters are of that opinion. And, and it doesn't pay to argue about it, you know. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, but good heavens, the facts stand for themselves. Look at how many people have died in the United States alone, much less worldwide. So, yeah. I don't know how people can think masks don't work and that this is not a serious, serious health crisis. You know, and now even the President of the United States has it and the First Lady and with all the protection and, you know, Secret Service and everything that he has, even though he did not wear masks and none of his people wore masks, you know, which I'm sure had something to do with him contracting it. But, you know, you still don't wish anybody coming down with that. And, of course, we wish him nothing but the best for both him and the First Lady. Whether you are pro-Trump or anti-Trump, you know, you still don't wish that on anybody. We are almost finished. So I think I shall be doing a room tour as soon as I get this whole room settled. That's going to take a while. <laughs> and then if anybody's interested, once I get my diamond painting room all settled, if you would like a tour of that also. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> that one's going to take even longer because, like I said, that is not a priority right now. I've got painting and everything to do in there. I'm not painting in here at all because they're a nice beige color. I do have to get some blinds or curtains or something in here because there's nothing on the walls at this point. And I have a window right here next to me, which is nice. I can see the driveway, I can see when somebody comes, and then there's a window over at the end of my desk, and then on the other side of that window starts all my bookcases, so I got these nice two big windows. I may just put blinds in the windows and then put a another, you know, like topper on top, something that coordinates with the tan walls and the brown carpeting. So yes, all types of decorating to do, pictures to get on the wall. Yeah, again, not a priority. <laughs> Bob will be saying, uh, I don't think we need to worry about that right now. And I'll be like, yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> okay, honey, we'll wait, we'll wait. All right. So, how did that turn out? I think it's kind of pretty. Except for the blob. Mm. 
Yes. Naughty Kobe. All right. Okay. So, wow. We are at over an hour color and chat. Um, I do have a few flip throughs to do yet. And I have a ton of diamond painting unboxings to do. Well, unbaggings to do. Um, but it's getting late already today. I had so much to do. I did not get too <laughs> near doing the videos that I wanted to do. And I still have to get these copied over to the laptop and, you know, do all the editing, processing, uploading, all that good stuff. Thumbnails, <laughs> links. <laughs> I could go on and on. No, just kidding. Um, so, yeah, I think the other videos are going to wait. I'll get a few done tomorrow in between doing things, but... Uh, yeah, so I'll have a few videos up during the week. Again, I'll record them this weekend, and then I schedule them out over the week so that you'll still have stuff to watch during the week. And now I have a couple hundred videos of other color tubers. Well, not just color tubers, diamond painting and miscellaneous people. To catch up on because I have not been able to watch YouTube either. I can't believe I have gone, my gosh, I bet you three, four days without coloring at all. That never happens. I very rarely go a single day without coloring. Very rarely. Yeah, so you know something serious is going on when Lisa doesn't color. <laughs> Okay, enough of me rambling. That is the color and chat again out of Color by Number Mandalas by Jade Summer. I will link this book down below in the description if you want to check it out yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this color and chat and kind of catching up with me on uh, everything with the house and my mouth and <laughs> all that boring stuff <laughs> so if you enjoyed it please hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you're new to my channel i hope everybody's having a fantastic weekend and as always happy coloring bye guys <laughs>